Let's have a look at the articulation section. In this section you will find all the articulations that can be played on a string instrument. We can divide them in three parts. Long notes, smooth, action pianissimo, mezzo forte, fortissimo and adagio. Short notes, short. And effects, tremolo, half trill, whole trill, pizzicato, barto pizzicato and harmonics. These last two are not available when working in a solo division. Smooth and short are making use of a single sound sample. Smooth is using the long sound samples, while short is using the short sound samples. Short has six different accent styles to choose from, which can be selected with the accent style knob. These accent styles are marcato, detaché, spiccato, marcato molto, detaché molto, and spiccato molto. And you can change the volume level of all these styles with the accent knob. The three action buttons are using a combination of the smooth and the short sounds. You can hear this clearly when you press the smooth and play the three different action buttons. All you hear now are the short sound samples. These three buttons are presets which means you can program them in any way you want. For example, the Action Pianissimi button is set st standard low around 72. And you can give him any kind of action style you like. But you can choose to raise the volume all the way up as you would have with the Action Fortissimo presets. Let's set them back to the default, which will be around here, like a real pianissimo. So these three are only presets and you can give them any kind of accent style and any kind of volume. Now, when you would load the smooth option again, so the long sound samples, reload smooth, these short notes will be layered with the long sound samples. Let's have a listen. So what you in fact hear is a long sound sample without any accent, but now starting with one of these accents. Adagio is using the same sound sample as smooth, the long sound sample, but with a higher attack setting, creating thereby a slower starting sound. Let's have a listen. Smooth. Tremolo can be combined with one of these action presets by first choosing one of these action presets that will show the knobs here and after that choosing Tremolo. To remove the accents, choose Smooth or Adagio and then Tremolo. As you can see, there are no knobs available here. As with Tremolo, the half trill and the whole trill articulations can be combined with one of these accent presets. First, choose one of these presets, and after that, one of the trills. <laughs> to 
To remove a chosen accent, choose Smooth or Adagio, and after that one of the trills. You can choose to let TVEC play the correct trills according to the key your music is in. For example, if your music is in E major, you need to have a whole trill when playing it on E and a half trill when playing it on G sharp. You could choose the correct trill by hand, but letting TVEC do the work for you will save you a lot of time. The key can be set in the settings menu here. And we have to keep this option set to on for this to work. Done settings. Now, when we play in trill on E, we should hear a whole trill according to the E major scale. As you notice, half trill is selected, but we still hear the correct whole trill. So let's try another one. For example, D sharp should be a half trill in the key of A major. Let's check it. Perfect. The last three articulations to choose from are pizzicato, bartok pizzicato, and harmonics. These sounds have no settings that can be adjusted or layered with. Bartok pizzicato and harmonics aren't available in the solo division and can only be used with the quarter divisions and higher. A nice feature in TVEC is that a lot of the elements can be triggered by key switches and automation. Turning on key switches will show you all the key switch notes that can trigger the articulations, the mutes and the pattern option. You can assign your own key switch notes in the settings menu. Assigning an automation to any of the elements in TVEC is easy. Just right click on the option you want to automate, choose learn MIDI automation and now move a button or a knob on your MIDI keyboard. It's that easy. <laughs> 